Florida Congressman Michael Waltz wrote a letter to the Chinese ambassador to the U.S. saying this in part, quote, we're demanding a transparent investigation into Peng's claims of proof of her whereabouts and her immediate release. End of that quote. Well, Congressman Waltz joins us now. Congressman, welcome back to the show. Hey, good to be with you. All right. So despite the fact that uh, Chinese officials in the state media, which we know is propaganda day by day, posting these videos, photographs showing her out with people. Many critics aren't buying this. You included, I believe. The president of the IOC, this is an interesting part, he said he spoke with her. They released an image, but not the full footage, not the full video right. of that conversation, unwilling to do so. Do you think the world not only America, the world is putting enough pressure on the IOC to get clean here, get the real information um, about what's happening. Well, you know, first, let's take a step back. I mean, the Chinese Communist Party have a long history of disappearing anyone who dares criticize it or uh, that, that disagrees. I mean, we're talking repeated instances of journalists, uh, any doctor that raised the alarm about Wuhan, uh, other athletes. It was actually an NBA player who was detained for 10 months. Uh, and the NBA never said uh, never said a word, by the way. And, you know, we could keep going uh, down the list. Even multi-billionaire businessman Jack Ma, who is kind of the Jeff Bezos of China, disappeared uh, when he dared criticize the regime. So, you know, here we have a situation. I mean, this is the equivalent of like Serena Williams or Chris Everett said, uh, credibly that the, I don't know, vice president of the United States sexually abused uh, her. This is what uh, Peng Shui is saying happened. And of course, she disappeared for the last three, uh, three weeks. And now this is just the circumstances of her reemergence are incredibly sketchy. I don't buy it. Uh, and if the IOC turns out to be complicit, because I got to tell you, They've been being pampered by the Chinese Communist Party for months now in the run up to the Olympics. Uh, you know, it, this is this just stinks all around. And every parent who is sending an athlete to the Olympic Games in just 10 weeks into Beijing uh, should be incredibly concerned. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I am actually with you on this. I want to see what the International Olympic Committee says, because if they if they have been complicit in this, that's a big, big problem. But I want to show you a clip of CNN's reporting on this and have you react. I want to explain to our viewers what's happening on our screen right now, because underneath your face, they can see a box, which is the actual live feed of this broadcast in China, but it's all color bars. And it went to color bars the minute you started talking. So what's going on here? Chinese censors, John, uh, I have lost count over the last eight years here in Asia covering China of how many times CNN's coverage of controversial issues has been censored. Now, obviously, I have a lot of reasons not to watch CNN, but the CCP, the Communist Party in China, clearly does everything it can to block any coverage or criticism of themselves. And, and I guess the question is, especially with the Olympics coming up, what should we be doing as a country to put pressure on China, not just with respect to her, but to make right. sure that we can actually have transparency as to what's going on overall there? Well, Sean, you know, I, I was the first in the House of Representatives to call for a full boycott of what I'm calling the Genocide Olympics if the IOC won't move the games. And a number of us have asked for years for the IOC to move the games, move it away from this genocidal dictatorial uh, regime that unleashed COVID on the world and into a place where our athletes can compete and be proud of it. But since the IOC won't move the games, we should boycott. Uh, the diplomatic boycott that Biden's talking about is just symbolic. Frankly, who cares if a couple of American officials don't go? What we really need is for uh, a little bit of corporate patriotism and for these uh, many Olympic sponsors like Coca-Cola, Nike, and Procter and & Gamble, uh, and others who want to boycott uh, voting reforms in Georgia and Major League Baseball, but then they want to turn a blind eye to the gross human rights abuses and military buildup uh, and threatening posture that China is taking, then it's perfectly okay. NBC included uh, in, 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 uh, you know, in that group. And then finally, you know, I have to ask our athletes, many people talk about them would they compete in the United States if the U.S. government had a million Muslims in a concentration camp? Of course they mm -hmm. wouldn't. 
Uh, would they have competed in Germany in the middle of the Holocaust or Rwanda in the middle of the genocide there? Of course they wouldn't. So don't give me that garbage. You know, they want to hold up uh, uh, Colin Kaepernick as a hero for social justice at home. But then they all want to, you know, turn a blind eye. Where are the women's groups now for, Pe for Peng Shui, who said she was sexually abused uh, for years? Where is their outrage and their voices? Yeah. They're silent. Yeah. Luckily, the Women's Tennis Association is saying that they're going to pull their sponsorship from China, which I believe is over a billion dollars. So good on them. But great point to put into perspective what China is doing to the Uyghur Muslims over there. And thank you for speaking out on that, Congressman. But I do want to talk to you about this, too, because on top of all that, China is wrapping up its weapons testing. Pentagon officials were reportedly caught off guard by Chinese hypersonic missile t uh, technology after Beijing tested a weapon that could deploy a nuke while traveling at five times the speed of sound, if you can imagine that. It's a massive technology advance that has stunned the Pentagon, the U.S. Intelligence Committee. The United States, yes. we should be leading this technology, right? So why aren't we? Uh, by the end of Biden's presidency, China will be ahead on this. So where do you yeah. see the United States' relationship with China in accordance to this? And if we do choose to pull out of China? Or well, for the Olympics, you know, rather. Ironically, we were ahead on it until the Obama year uh, defense budget cuts. And then it was kind of put on the shelf. And then the Chinese came in and stole it. Uh, and this is 20. This hypersonic missile, we cannot defend it against. It is a nuclear strike first weapon. That's on top of a massive nuclearization modernization across the board. When, by the way, the left wants to cut our nuclear budget. Their Navy is bigger than ours. Their Space Force is bigger than ours. But the thing that has me so upset, which we've talked about before, is that it's being done and made with American money between our trade deficit, Wall Street, Disney, Hollywood, uh, the sports industries. Everybody is drunk on Chinese money and bowing to the Chinese yuan. Uh, and then they're turning a blind eye and historic to their military buildup. And historians are going to look back wow. and say, you guys built the military that caused your demise. And so my mission to everybody is when you see Made in China, put it down, call your financial advisor mm -hmm. and tell them to divest and hold these hypocritic corporate um, American companies to account. Hmm. Mike Walls for speaker. All That's right. I <laughs> Congressman Walls, appreciate your wisdom there. And I hope people pay attention because we have to have some action here. All right. Thank you so much. See you soon. All right.